Hey everyone, this is Shooting Illustrated bringing you another episode of iCap. In today's feature, we're taking a look at the Taurus 605 Touring Revolver, along with some related gear. Let's take a closer look at this kit. Okay, I have to admit this is different. The folks at Taurus recently released not one, but two different revolvers set up to accept a red dot optic. One is an 856 Defender, a 6-shot 38 Special, while the other is the subject of today's kit, the 5-shot Model 605 and 357 Magnum. Both models are available in either stainless or matte black, both are available with 3-inch barrels, and both come with Taurus's molded rubber grip that does an excellent job anchoring the revolver in the hand. The 605 Toro we have here is in the stainless finish, which makes more sense from a utilitarian standpoint for their weather and sweat resistance, but I'm a bigger fan of fluid or the matte black, but that's a personal preference. The 605 has an overall length of 7.5 inches, a height of 4.8 inches, and weighs 23.5 ounces unloaded. It's slightly longer and heavier than the standard micro 9mm double stack pistols, like the Sig Sauer P365 or Smith & Wesson Shield Plus, but does have the advantage of the more powerful 357 Magnum. One note on the 605 Toro optic setup. This isn't like optics ready semi-autos in that you can purchase one and add or remove a red dot sight on a whim, putting the cover back in place when an electro optic is removed. With the plate needed to attach a powered optic to the 605, once it has been screwed down and loctited in place, the front sight is more or less blocked from view. Well, you can pick up, say, a Springfield Armory Hellcat OSP and just put the cover plate back on once the optic is off. With the 605 Toro, you'll either be leaving the optic on, swapping it for another optic, or getting out the heat gun. It's more involved to remove the plate in the 605 Toro. However, it's unlikely this will be a prop. It is something about which to be aware. The mount itself accepts both Shield RMSC and Holosun 507K footprint optics, which means that pretty much every micro dot out there will work, and will work as a direct mount. Putting a dot on a revolver is definitely some outside-the-box thinking from Taurus, although it's certainly not unheard of. Some of the larger frame Smith & Wesson revolvers have rails built in, while others have a rail section that replaces the rear sight. Taurus's new line of Toro revolvers brings the ability to mount a powered optic to a concealable revolver, and that's a new option for fans of both wheel guns and dots. Now, the Taurus 605 Toro does present a unique challenge when it comes to carrying it. Where do you find a holster that's set up for a revolver with a red dot sight attached? Answer, Dark Star Gear's Apollo line of holsters. We've run similar Dark Star Gear's excellent rigs for both small frame revolvers and mid-sized semi-automatic pistols, and find the company's single sheet kydex construction, fit, and retention to be excellent. The Apollo we have for the Taurus 605 Toro is relieved to the mounted optic, has a DCC tuckable metal clip, and has an extra attachment point should a wing be desired to help concealment. This particular Apollo is designed for a 3-inch barrel revolver. It should be a consideration for revolvers with shorter barrels as well, as the extra length below the belt line is a significant help in keeping the holster steady. I know, I know. All this talk about red dot optics and we've gone ahead and chosen Hubble Sun's new EPS carry in, of course, green. We featured the larger EPS model in a previous episode of iCarry, noting that this represents a unique first for Hubble Sun and powered optics in general. The EPS is the first enclosed emitter sight that allows direct attachment, with the emitter and lens not taking up the entire top of the unit and the mounting screws are exposed. This means it does not require a separate plate with a raised section like other enclosed emitters. The EPS carry goes one further and allows direct attachment with only a spacer plate. The screws align directly with the standard RMSC optics cut prevalent in small pistols and, of course, in this case, the Taurus 605 Toro revolver. The EPS carry line includes both red and green dots available in 2 and 6 MOA sizes. All units have side-mounted battery compartments for a standard CR1620 battery with claimed battery life up to 50,000 hours. Holosun accomplishes this with its ShakeAwake technology, which turns the unit off after 10 minutes of no activity and powers back up at the first sign of motion. Simple, easy to access buttons adjust the brightness of the EPS carry, and its 7075 aluminum housing and glass lens contribute to an IPX8 rating for water resistance. For more information on the items we've chosen for today's kit and for other guns and gear combinations, please visit shootingillustrated.com. And 
As always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.